What's up guys, T-Mart here, and today I've got something insanely exciting to share with you guys, and that's this corner right here. So if you guys are a fan of the channel, you've seen some of the videos lately, like the update videos and the Super Cooper Sundays and stuff, you guys know this corner was stocked up with boxes. It was crazy. It was like that for like two months because I was traveling so much, I never really had the time to take care of what was in those boxes. And I think you guys know now because of the title and the thumbnail, welcome to my brand new GT Omega racing cockpit setup. This thing is absolutely insane. Now I do want to be 100% transparent with you guys. They ended up sending me this setup, which is really, really cool. So a couple of months ago, I was looking into racing cockpits. There are a few different options out there. So I started asking you guys on Twitter, which one I should go with. And so many people tagged GT Omega. Like it was by far the number one recommended thing, which makes me feel good. A lot of people were happy with theirs. So they ended up hitting me up and they were like, you know what, we're gonna send you a cockpit. If you wanna make a video about it, cool. If you don't want to, that's fine too. So that was super, super cool of them. This isn't a sponsored video per se, cause I'm not getting paid to review it or anything like that, but they did hook it up, which I thought was really cool. They were really easy to work with. And based on all the reviews, and I have some like actual professional driving friends who use this same setup, I think I went with the right one. This thing is absolutely insane, dude. Oh my gosh. So we started building this thing last night around 11 o'clock PM. And I gotta give another shout out here, Frenchy. So I'm sure most of you guys know Junior. I mess around with him on Twitter a lot. He's been in the vlog, stuff like that. He's a NASCAR Xfinity driver. I met him last year. We're really, really good friends now. Frenchy is a super good friend of Junior that I met through him. He's basically family. I mean, he's like on Junior's pit crew and stuff like that. Uh, last night he came over, he was staying the night because my house is close to the airport than his and he had a super early flight this morning because I think they're racing in Michigan this weekend or something like that. And he recently bought one of these things and had put it together. So he's like, dude, let's bust this out. Like I, I'm ready to go, it's fresh in my mind. Let's make this thing. So last night around 11 o'clock PM we started, we finished just after 1 a.m. So it was about two hours, it's not too bad. I mean, there's a lot to it, I'm not gonna lie. Look at all of these boxes right here. This is, these, all of these boxes are from this setup, including this right here. It was absolutely nuts. Like, if you're gonna be getting one of these things, you gotta know it is a process. I would definitely have somebody to help you do it. Like, it, it, doing it by yourself would have been a nightmare. It would have taken me forever. And I'm so glad that I had him. And I mean, obviously being a part of a pit crew and stuff, he's a very like, you know, mechanical guy. Like he knew exactly what he was doing, which was really nice. And I mean, it, yo, it's a lot, I'm not gonna lie, but that's because it's such quality. Like it is so sturdy, so solid. So I'll walk you guys through this thing real quick. And I'm sorry for the mess. I mean, like I said, we got done at one o'clock in the morning. I was exhausted. I went to bed, it's now 7 a.m. I had to wake up and come down here and play at dirt was uh, downloading and it looks like it's already done. But uh, we gotta finish this video first. So um, it's two main parts. So one is the main kind of like boat ski type thing, whatever you wanna call it. So it has the seat that's mounted down here and then this goes all the way up and around. You have where you mount your pedals on there. It comes up here where you mount your steering column. All of that is one piece. And then apart from that, we have the second piece which is the monitor stand. So you guys can see, I have a three monitor set up right here, super nice. Each of them have these swivel arms. You can set it up however you want and it looks good. I mean, obviously with the three monitors, you kind of get that peripheral vision, which is really, really good. They also have options where if you want to just mount one monitor or one TV, then you can do that. Or they have it where you can just buy this piece without the monitor stand. If like, say you had a TV set up already and you just wanted to put this in front of a TV that was already set up, which is kind of cool. Now, if we sit down in this thing, you guys can see it's got a slider for the seat, just like a real car. So we built it so that when I'm all the way forward, I'm in a comfortable racing position and that's good. And then when I want to get out, I can slide the seat back and then I can easily get out. And I'm six foot four and a half, almost six foot five, depends on the day. That is so convenient because I can get in and out of this thing without banging my knees and you know getting all awkward and like trying to like conform to it, which is really, really nice. It's actually super, super comfy. The seat's nice, you guys can see leather with the red stitching and GT Omega and the headrest and on the back. Super, super cool. It's one of these, you know, obviously racing inspired seats. It's got the bolsters on the side. They're really, I mean, you feel snug. I'm not gonna lie. 
I haven't raced in it yet. It feels good sitting in it. Obviously, I don't have like a long time in it yet, but Frenchie, which I told you guys, he built his recently. They do iRacing races where they're literally like, it's like a real NASCAR race. It's like two and a half hours long. And he says he sits in this with absolutely no problem. So I don't know, like I'm, I'm really, really stoked to try it out and, and get grindy with it for one of those long sessions. This is your keyboard tray. You can swivel it out so you can like bring it out to you. Use your keyboard, use your mouse slide it back so the shifter's available. Um, what else, oh, there's actually, look at this. It actually has a cup holder as well. So uh, I don't have this mounted yet because these are made over in the UK and this cup holder, I need to switch this bracket over to the other side because right now it's set up for somebody who's shifting with their left hand and has their right hand free. So it's meant to be mounted like something like that. So I got to switch that over so we can put it over here so you can have a drink there handy. I just, I, I don't know. I thought that was kind of funny. Like everything else it seems like, you know, that's what you would expect in a racing sim setup. I wasn't expecting to have a cup holder as well, which is really, really cool. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. It's super, super sturdy, super, super simple once you get it put together. And like I said, it's in two pieces. So this is not staying in the living room. Believe me, it's going to be easy just to take this and slide the boat over into my office and then move the monitor stand over in there and I'm gonna get it set up in there. I kinda have to rearrange stuff a little bit. I'm gonna take this couch out and I'm even thinking about taking the closet doors off and recessing it into the closet so it saves me more space. Then we need to take care of all this and yeah, then I'm good. So then I have like my racing set up here. I have my computer here, lots of space for VR. That would be the ultimate dream office, but um, yeah, guys, I'm just, I'm super, super stoked. Like I said, it's seven o'clock in the morning. I woke up, I had to play it right now. So Dirt is finally finished downloading. We're about to check that out. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so excited right now, guys. Holy cow. I've been looking forward to this for so long. I was traveling so much. We had like the cruise and Australia and E3 and stuff like that. I just, I never had the time to sit down and, and put this together because I was always working on videos. And I'm so excited to finally have this set up. You guys better believe all of the racing that we do on the second channel, I'm gonna try to do most of it on this thing from now on. We gotta figure out how we're gonna do it. So obviously a lot of times I have face cam in all of my videos. Um, with a racing sim set up like this, I was thinking about doing something kind of like Slap Train, if you guys know him. He has a wheel cam. So you, instead of a face cam, you see his hands on the wheel and like shifting and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. So we could potentially try that out sometimes. We could also do both. So maybe like top left face cam, top right wheel cam or something like that. I don't know, we'll have to mess around with it. You guys let me know what you guys think down in the comments and uh, we'll kind of, I don't know, we'll, we'll try it out and try different things, see what works. But um, let's get this going, baby. My goodness, guys, it has been a long freaking day of waiting. So if you guys look outside right now, look at that. That's the sun setting out there. We started this video when the sun was rising. It was 7 a.m. when we started recording this. It's now 7 p.m. And the reason why it's been 12 hours is I didn't have the correct power cord for my steering wheel. So I had a power cord where the buttons on it were working, but the actual steering and like the, the force feedback and stuff like that was not working on it. So I had to order a replacement part. Luckily, I live in Orlando. I have Amazon Prime now. <clears throat> so I got it in, uh, in the same day, which is nice. But um, this is what I've been waiting for. You know how much it's killed me to have this set up completely ready to go and not been able to actually play it. It has been absolutely awful. So we are gonna get this set up and uh, I'll show you guys. I've kind of cleaned it up a little bit. There's still some stuff over here, but we're looking a little bit better now. And I even, check this out. I got the cup holder set up. How badass is that? That's really sick. So um, this thing underneath is where we're gonna be plugging the power cord in, then it flips back around, bolts it back down. Probably will end up zip tying these going down this main frame here just so you don't see all the cords and stuff. But we're gonna do that and then we should be good to go. Oh, it's working. So you guys can see, it's got like force feedback in there. So like when you're in, you know, when you're turning or in a rut and stuff, obviously sometimes like when you're in a real car, the wheel is gonna move even when you're not moving it. And that's what this thing does to get a better simulation. So back this up, get in here, scoot it back forward. And this is gonna be our first ever attempt here on this game. So I wanna make sure 
Look at that. Full 900 degrees here, two and a half turns each way. Looks like everything is all good to go, so we're gonna go ahead and confirm that. I also, I believe, this monitor has, yeah, it's got a, a speaker built in. So you guys might be able to hear some of the gameplay. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I just want this to be a quick little first look, and then you guys will definitely see more videos in the future. But uh, let's go ahead and back out here. We're gonna restart this. Pull, baby. I don't think the clutch is actually set up. Okay, the clutch isn't set up yet, but we'll just, we'll go ahead and do it like this. Oh my gosh. Woo, woo. Oh, we're sideways, we're good, we're good, we're good. Dude, this is so sick. I wanna set up the clutch so we're actually using the clutch. I'm pretty sure this clutch has a setting where you can use it sequentially rather than actually going through the, like the H pattern gears. Dude, this, this is gonna be a learning curve for sure. This steering wheel is pulling so hard. All right, I'm gonna let my hands off the steering wheel and show you guys what's happening here. You guys see that? Holy cow. Okay, we're okay. We're, oh, we're facing back the right way, let's go. All right, let's take this seriously here. For the last section. It's also got paddle shifters on there too, which we might be able to set up. That might make a little bit more sense in the full H pattern. Trying to, like, I'm more than happy to, to use a clutch and, and shift on like a normal car game, but I think, oh shoot, oh man. I wasn't ready for that hairpin turn. Uh, I think it's something like dirt, where there's already so many other things going on. I feel like that, I don't know, that might be a big first step. We'll, we'll see what happens. down a little bit. We really like those, the, the walls, don't we? We really like hitting those things. Dude, this is, I'm so excited about this right now. Like obviously this is my first try and I'm not really taking it too seriously. This is seriously amazing. Like this is so cool. I am so excited about this. So you guys better believe we are gonna have a ton of videos coming soon. We're gonna be playing dirt because we're already playing that right now. We're gonna continue through our career. We actually just unlocked Rallycross, which I feel like is gonna be really, really fun with that. Um, so we have dirt. I also wanna do a bunch of iRacing. So iRacing is like a pure simulator game. It's only for PC, really well known. And um, Junior and Frenchie and a lot of my other like pro racing friends all play that. So I think I might join a league with them and I might do some races with them, which should be kind of cool. I'm sorry. This music in the background is probably a little bit annoying, so we're gonna go turn that off. So we're gonna do that. Um, obviously, so this wheel is only compatible with PlayStation and PC. If you want an Xbox one, you have to get one that's for Xbox and PC. I wanna play Forza. I can't figure out if I'll end up playing Forza Horizon 3 on PC and we'll start a new account or if I'll get an Xbox wheel as well to be able to play that. And then obviously we have things like Need for Speed and stuff like that coming out later this year. So there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff. I'm really excited. This is gonna take content to the next level. Like I was talking about earlier, sometimes we could have like a wheel cam and a face cam at the same time. And I, I don't know, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Now to end things off here, I know a lot of you guys are gonna have one major question and that's how much does something like this run? Well, like I said before, there are different variations on their site. So like obviously if you just get the seat and the mounting set up without the monitor stand, that's gonna be cheaper. But this right here, which is kind of like the cream of the crop top of the line that they have was around 500 US dollars. I think some of the other lesser ones are somewhere around like, you know, 350 to 400. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. So if you guys want to check those out, I will link the site down in the description. I'm not getting paid to say that. I'm not getting any sort of commission or cut or anything like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to convince you to buy one, but I mean, so far I'm super stoked with this and I can't wait to bring you guys some videos. So I, I wanna bring you guys this video. I wanna share this with you guys. This is something that I've been talking about and looking forward to for months. We finally made it happen. I'm so stoked. And uh, lots of really, really cool videos coming you guys' way. Let me know what I should be playing because there's a ton of games that we could play Euro Truck Simulator, bro. Like we could play anything in this. It's gonna be so cool. You guys know I love cars, I love racing. And this is gonna take that to an entirely new level. So I'm gonna catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.